Well, and the uh, the things that you've done in the last several years contribute to uh, how risky any little stress is. Okay. Um, uh, for example, women who were going to a fertility clinic, uh, a doctor had a theory that uh, maybe their ovaries were infected, the reason they weren't fertile. So he, hmm. he put some of them on a moderate dose of penicillin or other antibiotic. And uh, many of them noticed uh, that their mood and headaches uh, were uh, relieved by the antibiotic. <laughs> and uh, that got the doctors interested in seeing what was happening to their hormones. Mm -hmm. And that they also got, became pregnant. <laughs> uh, but they saw that before they took the antibiotic, uh, the circulating in their blood, they had a stress level of cortisol mm -hmm. and a very high ratio of estrogen to progesterone. Mm -hmm. And taking the, the uh, antibiotic, uh, their cortisol and the estrogen decreased and the progesterone increased. And that turns out uh, that in that particular study, they didn't... Uh, determine the mechanism, but they've also seen exactly the same pattern in studies with rats. Mm -hmm. And I've done the same measurements in women who had those syndromes, PMS and infertility, and just two or three days of eating a raw carrot salad every day, mm -hmm. uh, they had exactly that shift of hormones, increased progesterone, decreased estrogen mm. and cortisol. Wow. And um, the, the uh, other research shows that endotoxin alone will account for exactly those changes. Uh, you inject an animal with endotoxin and its uh, estrogen, even a male animal, the estrogen will go up maybe five times higher than normal and the progesterone and testosterone fall sharply. Mm.